Tonight, there are concerns about children contracting COVID-19 when they head back to the classroom. News 2's Ann Baldridge joins us live in downtown Charleston. And you spoke with doctors about the symptoms of COVID and other illnesses. Yeah, Maris, that's right. With school coming up this week, that means more teachers and students could be getting sick. Doctors talk to us about if you have COVID or something else and what that means. Right now, what we're seeing with COVID, with the COVID infection that's occurring, we're certainly seeing that same flu-like illness, that the myalgias, the just not feeling well, lots of shortness of breath, lots of low oxygen saturations, and fevers. Dr. Ken Perry says right now they are mostly diagnosing upper respiratory infections. He expects parents to be more nervous, as the CDC data shows all South Carolina counties have a high COVID-19 transmission rate. The anxiety of starting a new school year and, and what does this mean, this is obviously going to cause a lot of anxiety. What I really sort of caution the parents to just sort of take a step back and see what does this mean for their individual child? What does this mean for their family? Perry says part of what is difficult is that only some children can be vaccinated against COVID-19. We do know that right now the FDA is at least allowing or approving vaccines for 12 year olds and older. Medical experts and researchers are urging everyone who can to get vaccinated. With COVID numbers going back up, people are fearful of what could happen in the future. There was this, this sort of release of anxiety that happened in the July, you know, June, July time frame when our numbers were dropping off. Everyone saying, oh, this is great. We're, you know, we're almost to the end of this. And then there's this pesky little variant that we started to talk about. And now we're back into the same place. According to the CDC, nearly 60% of Americans 12 and older are fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Reporting live in Charleston, I'm Ann Baldridge. Count on two.